Happy month of September, Sagittarius. Happy month of September. This is going to be a great month for career and job options. And there's just going to be some other things happening for you. For instance, on the third, Venus, the planet of love, the planet of money, the planet of socializing, goes direct. Now, it's been uh, retrograde in your house of connections. And with, with it being retrograde, you may have gone back and made a few um, connections, reconnections with old friends, old loves, maybe family members that you haven't seen for a while. So Venus is there because Venus, Venus loves to socialize. It loves to bring people together. So there has been a chance for you to get together with someone that you haven't seen for a while. Or have you broken up a connection with someone? Because Venus retrograde means that you may have fallen out of like or out of love with someone. And now with it moving forward, you get a chance to either mend that relationship or go on to a different situation altogether. The other thing is that Venus is going to open your sense of adventure. Do you need to go visit someone? Has it been someone you've been speaking to on the phone for a while? You need to go see them in person? Well, your sense of adventure is going to be wonderful during this when Venus goes direct after the third yes so i have my four decks of tarot cards and let's see what the first message is for you sagittarius what is the first message for you this month the first message is to uh to breach uh to breach that means to go ahead and show everybody that you are there to go ahead and breach. It's like a show-off type of thing. So let me ask you something. Have you been kind of laying low? <laughs> and now you need to surface and let people know I'm still here. Maybe there's somebody that's been looking for you and you've been <laughs> kind of keeping a low profile. And now you decide, now I'm going to let you know I am here and I'm very much very active. So there's going to be some better uh, activities coming your way, especially with Venus out there. Because Venus likes to socialize and put people together and absolutely make things happen. Yay. So on the 4th, Jupiter, the planet of abundance, the planet of prosperity, goes retrograde. So now the thing is, is which is wonderful, uh, Jupiter has been in your house of employment. How you make your, your living, your daily job. So Jupiter brings opportunities, but guess what? It goes retrograde. So what, is, what does it do? It's going to allow you to think about other opportunities. You're going to start rethinking, do I need to be at this job or do I need to be at that job? Or do I need to take this class so I can get a promotion or a better job altogether? Rethinking your work opportunities. Also, I just want to say to you, and you know, it can also uh, make you want to rethink how you treat your body. Jupiter is the planet of good luck. It's also the planet of healing. So if you've been having some health issues, this is a really good time for you to maybe rethink what you've been doing, maybe get a, another physician, another opinion, maybe change your diet, you know, maybe change things around so you will feel better. So you can go ahead and enjoy the job offer, the job promotions, the job prospects, make that money, but you want to feel good and feel healthy in order to do that. Be in good health. Yes. So I have my second deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the second message is for you, Sagittarius. What is the second message? The second message is stay in your own skin. Stay in your own skin. What does that mean? That means for you to, to um, don't be afraid of things. You know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of who you are. You know, sometimes people can make us uncomfortable. You know, it's almost as though you wish you were somebody else. Is that true? Is that right? You're not hanging out with those type of people. Or, or are you in a job situation that people make you uncomfortable about? Maybe how you dress, how you wear your hair, what you say, the, you know, the, you, who you are. Stay in your own skin. That means to be comfortable. Who you are, comfortable in your own skin and to walk your own path. So that is something that you are going to, uh, you know, Stay true to yourself. Let's get some more information on this card. Let me just see what that card, what, what stay in your own skin, some more clarity about this card might mean. Let's see. Oh, definitely about talk. Okay, gossip. Who's gossiping about you? Somebody's talking about you. They keep it jealous. You know, they, may, they wish that they were you, that they had the uh, style you had or the way you walk, the way you, you know, handle yourself. 
They can be envious of it. Stay in your own skin means to ignore the gossip, ignore the little chatter. You know, people are so petty. You know, they see you walking in and they start talking, you know, you know, behind your back. So it's like ignore the negativity and be yourself and be comfortable in your own skin. Absolutely, absolutely. On the 14th, we have a new moon and the new moon is in your house. So career. Okay, now we're talking about big time career. So right now you got a job and is the job your career path or do you have an idea for a promotion, something bigger, a bigger goal? But you know, the planet Mercury has been allowing you to rethink things. You know, are you on the right path? What have you learned about, you know, your career gains? Have you made the career gains or is there something else you need to do? You've been trying to go to nursing school for a long time. You know, have you made the steps to go to nursing school or whatever it is that you want to do? Career, career gains, thinking about your future. Are you headed in the right direction? And what do you need to do for your success? Yes. So I have my third deck of tarot cards. Let's see what the message is. Third deck of tarot cards. What is the message for you, Sagittarius? The message is to blossom. Blossom. To blossom, grow. So we were talking about career. Don't be afraid of growing, of having something better. Don't get too comfortable. Maybe you're comfortable. I'm not going to say if you're comfortable, you're comfortable. But you know, a little growth every now and then is good. Blossom. Are you happy at what you're doing? Do you feel as though there's something else you should be doing or can be doing? Or do you feel as though there's something that you're better at, that you could be better at? This is an excellent time to grow and blossom. Yes. And on the 23rd, the sun, the, the giver of life, the prosperity, the you know, it's about growth, will be in your house of socializing. Okay, now, this is a good time to meet new people, meet some new friends, get some new alliances, get a better support system, network, socialize, try some different social events. You're going to have a good time after the 23rd. Good time to be with your friends, you know, time to, time to you know, to, um, to have lunch, you know, meet up for lunch, meet up for dinner, meet up for drinks, to go ahead and enjoy your friendships and to enjoy some new social events. Absolutely. So I have my fourth deck of tarot cards. And let's see what the fourth message is. What is the fourth message for you, Sagittarius? The fourth message is fire, fire. And it says, take the responsibility for your own power. <clears throat> That means to be motivated, to have fire, fire in your belly, to be, you know, jump out of bed and be happy. It's like, I got something I got to do today. I got a plan. I got a dream I'm working on. This is what I want to do to happen on this job. Or this is what I want to happen in my business. Or this is what I want to happen on my steps to getting what I want. Fire to take responsibility for your own power. Don't let anybody stop you. Remember we were talking about be, be comfortable in your own skin? Absolutely. People can see your power. They may see the power before you see. They may see your blessings. They may see who you are, realize that you're a powerful person and try to get in your way. So this card is, ref, re, is about motivation, not being stopped, and to go ahead and take responsibility for your power. Absolutely. Now on the 29th, there is a full moon in your house of romance. Oh yes. House of romance. Okay. House of pleasure, house of uh, entertainment, house of downtime. What you do in your downtime. Full moon. So the full moon is enlightenment. So have you been wasting your time with a certain person or doing a certain thing or, you know, not doing the right thing with your energy? You may want to take a different direction in love or a different direction in how you spend your spare time. Do you need to, or do you keep going to the same place for vacation? You know, same place, time after time, it's the same place. Well, the full moon is going to direct you to do something different and try some new things. And also some secrets can be revealed regarding your love life. Secrets can be revealed regarding your love life. So we're going to see what happens around the full moon in terms of things being revealed. All right. So Sagittarius, this has been your astral tarot reading for the month of September. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your chart, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com.